Hi, right, welcome back to Colesky Drone. So today we're going to have a look at the ProFlight Orbit. This has a many names, like Idea, Idea 9, and some others that I'll put in the description to show you what model it is. But there is about four different versions of this about at the minute. This one is made by ProFlight, and you can get this in the UK, which is why I bought this one. Two day delivery, and it was six, under £60, but I can't remember the exact cost. It goes up and down like a yo yo. If you're interested in one, Drones Direct sell these, and they also sell all the ProFlight range. So let's have a quick get in the box. So you get instruction manual, you get the controller. The egg whisk, sorry drone, spare set of props, charging cable and screwdriver and a battery. Let's put this down here. Let me just show you the manual because the manual is worth looking at. It's actually a really good one. It's comprehensive, it tells you how to do everything step by step. If you've never flown before and you were to follow this step by step you'd be absolutely perfect. And the app is really well explained. So I really do like the manual. Look at the drone. So this is the drone. It's a folding drone with a difference. The arms fold out this way and it actually makes a massive footprint. It's quite a big drone um, for this type of for a brushless, sorry for a brushed GPS drone. This is big. This is 1080p obviously GPS. The camera's not adjustable. You have to adjust it with your hand before you take off. But it does have an SD card slot which is a massive advantage because there's a lot of stuff about the minute that doesn't seem to bother having SD cards and to fold the arms down push that in and it clicks into place there and to release it just give it a bit of force and it comes down very interesting design obviously the motors are upside down and it goes this way when it's ready to take off the battery slides in here and the battery is if i remember right 1200 milliamp hour 2s and that simply slides in the slot here but if you put it in the right way around and it just locks in there. That's your battery, that's your, sorry that's your camera and it is 1080p. I'll show you the video footage. The video footage is typical to what you'd expect from one of these type drones and the app is the LWFPV app which I don't normally like but it performed very well on this to be fair I didn't have any issues with the app. They obviously are brushed geared motors so there's your motor down there if you can see and it's got a gearing mechanism in there to feed it. This is the controller, it takes four AA batteries and it is really heavy, even without the battery then it's got quite a bit of weight about it. It has two wonderful fake antennas, it has a take off and land button, a return to home button, a power button, left and right joysticks, speed mode, headless mode and orbit mode on that button. They're the only controls on here. And then your phone slides into these down here, so you pull them down and you stick your phone in. It's, it's a variation of the, all these type of controllers we're seeing at the minute but I'll tell you one about this one, it feels nice and it flies adequately well. The drone actually surprised me, I didn't expect the drone to, the drone to be very good and it did surprise me because it flies really really nicely, you'll see from the footage it's very stable in the air and it flies well. The range seems to be decent, I didn't have an issue on FPV, I've flown this a few times. The video footage you're going to see is just me flying it outside here, I didn't go that far in it, but I've had 120, 130 metres without any real issue, so... Um, and that's on the FPV feed, the controller seemed absolutely adequate and everything. So, obviously with this being a GPS drone, you do need to compass calibrate it, you do not need to compass calibrate it every time you start up, but we all these type of cheap toy drones I'd still recommend it and to do with the compass calibration is well I'll show you so single press to turn the motor on long press hold it down you'll have flashing lights at the back turn the controller on and then bind as normal up and down with your throttle stick so the reason I've got flashing reds in here is it, that's telling me it hasn't got a GPS lock because it's not going to have in here it'll go solid red and you'll have solid greens to calibrate the compass hold down that in shot hold down the return to home button till all the lights flash and then it's a simple matter of anti-clockwise three times and you'll see the light go solid at the back nose down 
anti-clockwise three times until the lights at the front are solid and the back will flash. The, obviously the lights wouldn't flash if you go solid if you had a GPS lock, but obviously we're not going to get a GPS lock in here. So that's how you do the compass calibration, really really simple, it worked straight out of the box. I had no issue calibrating the compass whatsoever. The only issue I had with this drone in total is sometimes I couldn't make the app connect. So we're going to try it now. It's not all the time, but every now and then I cannot find the app when I go into my Wi-Fi. So let's turn the Wi-Fi off and on. It's actually found it this time straight away. So it's 1080p GPS. Now sometimes it'll do that and it'll say unable to connect. If it does that, turn the controller off and bind it straight from the phone to there, then turn your controller on and that seems to fix it every time. Mind of issue, doesn't really cause me any problems. So we're going to have a look at the app, which is the LWFPV app. If I can find it, I really do need to delete some stuff off here, some apps. Here we go, LWFPV, you probably all saw it before me. So, pull the camera up, so there you go, you've got a bit of lag as you can see, a bit of latency, but picture's nice, it comes back to it, the map works, which is a massive advantage, because half the time these maps don't work in the top corner, if you click on that, you can open your map fully up. So you've got a typical fare on here, at the top of the screen it's telling you information, your satellites, etc, where you are in the world, the other side you've got your camera settings and your recordings, and then on here you've got take off and land, unlock your motors, land, and then if I hit that button there, I've got your typical waypoints and the other stuff. So, obviously orbit mode, you just press by holding the top button in. One thing I do need to tell you is, if I just can put the camera like that, press the left joystick in, and it will start recording. If you haven't got an SD card in there, it will record to your phone. If you've got an SD card in, it will obviously record to that. Click to turn it off, it's going to ask me if I want to save it because I've no SD card in there. And press the right one in and it will take a picture. To view your images you click on that down, you click on the album icon on the bottom of the screen and these are some that I've taken earlier. These are the ones I've just taken now. So as you can see everything works as it should do to be honest like I say I had a, I had a feeling this was going to be horrible I was very nicely surprised which is good for 60 quid I think it's a great GPS brushed drone if it was me I'd spend the extra and get a brushless one but for 60 pound really I don't think you can go that wrong the thing I like about it best is it doesn't look like it, the, everything else on the market because everything else on the market looks the same these days They've been inventive, I'm not saying ProFlight have, probably whoever made the first one. They've been inventive and made something a bit different, and I praise them for that. I'm going to leave you the video footage coming up. You see how stable it is in the air, and you're going to see me flying it around. You're also going to see what the camera looks like. Camera looks like it does on one of these. It's not the best in the world, certainly not the worst I've done. The one thing I will say about the camera in, the image is zoomed in. So you've got quite a zoomed in image. So to get if you want to go you're going to get have to go higher to get the image out and also I have the camera about in this position and you're going to see the props are in the shot I didn't bother flying it again because all I wanted to do was show you the image I wasn't trying to capture the best footage in the world but you're going to have to go lower to about that position there I'd imagine and you're going to have to fly high to get the image you want so for me bit of a winner uh, there's other reviews about on this, if you, if you want to have a look at them, search under the name that I'm going to put on the description. But for me, yeah, it worked, it worked for all of I've flown it a couple of times, so yeah, I like it. I think it's worth 60 quid. I don't think it's worth 100 quid, which is what the late, late idea seems, the idea 9 seems to be. And at least, and this was a £100 when it's not on offer, but it always seems to be on offer. I've seen this for as low as 50 49 and I've seen it quite commonly for 59 and 54 99 Thanks ever so much for watching, enjoy the video that's coming up and have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up